Good to see you again, sir. Another message came while you were away. It's on your desk. requesting the presence of the champion. How many noble parties are there each week? Fenris said Daenerys left this at the mansion. Hard in Hightown. Siege harder. What does that even mean? Oh, Varric must be stopped. The Pursuit of Knowledge. My brother Genitivi. Varric recommended this book, didn't he? Fenris's reading has improved. I should pick out a new book for him to work on. This place isn't like home at all. Minrathus was so noisy. Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone who will listen, most likely. Everything that's left of my life in Lothering. Make us breath, put some clothes on, man. Well, woof to you, too. The first enchanter is playing a dangerous game. You would do well not to help him. The first enchanter is playing a dangerous game. You would do well not to help him. The first enchanter is playing a dangerous game. You would do well not to help him. How much longer do I have to wait? Hello again, champion. Guardsmen, duties for the week will be low town canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. Thank you. Donicus. Good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlais went. You're right. I didn't. Anything else? Your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Just checking in. Need anything? 
Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. You're if too you quiet, Varric. I'm thinking of switching to romances. Nothing? Not even a foreboding frown? I am content. Write what you will. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of it. Contentment in the barracks? We'll pay to hear that shit. And I should have thought of it years ago. Try coming back tomorrow. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. How much longer do I have to wait? Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Well, look who it is. You. The you. If you don't mind, I could do with a significant reduction in the amount of attention this office receives. A visit from the champion is something of the opposite. I sense I am unwelcome in the halls of power. <laughs> power? I am just the hand on the seal, waxing what I'm told. Now I'm trapped under Templar scrutiny, waiting for them to note how easily I might be replaced. And it isn't going well? It is not going well. Who nominates a new Viscount? A consensus of the nobility, normally, and a willing nominee. Both are lacking, and I can't fault it. These are difficult times. Could I nominate someone, or do it myself? Anyone who thinks to take this office needs more than popular support. They need particular support. You are many things, Champion, but not this. Not yet, anyway. There is no one to carry the last Viscount's line. 
You presided over Seamus' death. That was the sad end of the Dumas. When a line is judged unfit or ends, we appoint from Kirkwall's elite. Or we would, if the situation was normal. But it is not. Since when are city leaders appointed by the Knight Commander? Meredith would not openly declare a preference. The rule of Kirkwall is deliberately separate from the Chantry's will. But the Order embodies security in Kirkwall, and they want the new Viscount to be more accepting of oversight. Anyone who wants to rule Kirkwall needs support from the Templars. That is the new truth of this city. What happens if they don't like the choice? Do you know how Viscount Dumas' predecessor, Perrin Threnhold, left office? He was a tyrant, certainly. But his rule was not ended until he actively sought to expel the Templars. The good of all is inexorably tied to what is good for the Templars. I can apply influence in many ways, you know. Do the words political maelstrom mean anything to you? The Templars are particularly sensitive about destabilizing elements, especially after what happened to Dumas. The Arashok killed the Viscount, but he's no longer a problem. There are older hatreds that the Templars feel deserve more central focus. Sometimes I wonder if we're at war with ourselves. I'll leave you to it, but I'm easy to find if you need me. Good. Thank you. My door is always closed. That's all I need. The champion. If you have any questions, talk to Knight Captain Cullen. Thank you for that tip, Fenris. You caught them then? Yes. A whole nest of slave runners working out of the Undercity. I imagine you imprisoned them? Sadly, they never made it to prison. You always know how to make me smile, Aveline. You're the captain of the guard. You have my thanks for keeping us safe, dear girl. You're quite welcome. So accomplished at such a young age. How splendid. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? I'm not doing this for the money. Very well.
Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then heed us, fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. It really is, Hugh. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here! Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys. <sighs> the word is master. <laughs>
I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister? You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait, don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? This is your family, Fenris. Elf... Fenris. I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out! You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh... No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Park, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Londy comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, O oh champion of Kirkwall. 
<laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Starkhaven's too pretentious for me, and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbling. I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. Still here. At least some things are constant in this ever changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. You've been a good friend. And a constant source of excitement. Oh, you do know how to flatter a girl. Now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. I am the champion of Kirkwall. I need to stay here. You're the champion of Kirkwall. You can do whatever you please. Well, if... Fame, fortune, and the adulation of Kirkwallers ever gets boring, the invitation's open. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast to friendship and to us.
are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. stand idly by as Meredith oversteps herself at every turn. We shall have a Viscount again, and return sanity to Kirkwall. This course is foolhardy. The Knight Commander will kill us all. Edgar, you do yourself no credit. My father and my grandfather both died defending Kirkwall from aggressors. Meredith is no different. Hawk, Lady Selbrech, you have my sword. I warned you. cement their conviction. When the time comes, you will have our aid. Take this with our blessings. Everyone, we must go before they send more attackers.
my friend. Ugh! <sighs> 
ली जाओ 